in this room here we have 53 radios which are a combination of some New Zealand made ones, American and a couple of English made radios. There is a couple of un unusual ones in here that um, uh, particularly one called a Gordon which was manufactured here in, right in Whanganui. They only made about 38 of them I believe and I only know of two. I've got one and there's another one located in Palmerston North. R quite a rare set. Up and around the top shelves here you'll see there's, a, there's quite a few cathedral radios. They're becoming very collectible and, uh, and um, a, pe a lot of people are um, taking a real keen interest in those now as they do make a lovely furniture piece. Around the bottom here you'll see the larger console radios. Um, lovely furniture pieces in their day if you have a look at the inlay work and, the, and, and that in the cabinetry. Um, but they do take up a lot of space. Um, if you've got this, you've got a space to put one, they are the set to collect and put in your lounge room. They're certainly a co very conversation piece. A lot of people uh, are turning back to those now. And they're quite sought after overseas, especially by the Japanese buyers um, who seem to be quite keen on taking them back to Japan. CQ, CQ, CQ. Here is ZL2 Fox Oscar, ZL2 Fox Oscar, calling CQ and standing by. Now if there was anyone out there that heard me, they would probably come back to me and we would have a chatter about this and that, depending on where they were. Um, you get better reception at different times of day. And it's quite good because you don't know who's going to pop up. Um, I was sitting in here with Graham one morning doing some paperwork and uh, we ended up talking to several Americans for quite some time and then some Japanese and in the end had to just turn the radio off to get away. So it, it's dependent a lot on atmospheric conditions. Yeah. Yeah. So.